Lord. 
and there is power in his blood. So if you want the power, take him every hour. And if you want the spirit, every minute. And if you want the, the weapon, every second. Because there is power in the blood of Jesus. Praise his holy name. Bless the name of Jesus.
children of God. Don't let the troubles and the cares of this world get you down. Be happy. Be happy. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise his holy name. At this time, we're going to have our devotional scripture, which will be coming to us from Psalm 92, verses 1 through 15, which will be read by Sister Janelle Bennett.
Um, we had mentioned since last week what our weekly goals are. I'm not going to repeat them, and you know those of you who are here. So we ask you to be faithful. Amen. Uh, we ask you to be faithful. Amen. Amen. And to do your best. Give to the Lord, because he's going to give back to us, pressed down, shaken together, running over. Amen. Glory to God. Bless the Lord. Can you stand and roll your offering in your hand if you have it ready? While we just ask the Lord's blessings upon it. Heavenly Father, we are just so grateful to you for your faithfulness, for your goodness to us. Mighty God, your goodness is running after us, mighty God. And so this morning, Lord, we come, oh God, with thanksgiving. We come with praise. We come this morning, Lord God, giving you thanks for giving us the ability to go out and to gain wealth. We thank you, God, for our jobs. We thank you, mighty God, for the health and the strength that you have given us. And so, God, as we come this morning, giving you back a portion, mighty God, we thank you, God, that to our, to our giving, there will be healing. To our giving, there will be deliverance. To our giving, mighty God, there will be meat in the house, mighty God, to meet the need. Mighty God, we thank you that through our giving, we'll be able to give back to those who are in need. And so, God, this morning, oh, God, as your people come to give, we pray, mighty God, that you'll bless them, God. Bless them going in. Bless them going out, my God. Bless your family, God. Bless them this morning, God. We pray a blessing upon your people this morning. Mighty God, touch us this morning. Touch every hand that will stretch forth to give this morning. Oh, God, we pray for those who do not have, God, that you will open up a way because you are our provider, mighty God. God, you do not cease to give to us. You are faithful in all your ways. And so we honor you this morning with our giving, mighty God. Father, we do not look at the amount that we give to you because you give to us bountifully, mighty God. And so we bless you this morning, God. We honor you this morning. We lift you up. We glorify you. We thank you, mighty God, for the press down, the shaking together, and the running over. We thank you, mighty God, that you will cause men to give into our bosom. Father, have your way this morning. Increase us, we pray this morning. Meet the need of this house, mighty God. Meet the need of your people this morning. You know the need this morning, God. And as your people come, oh God, many may be unspoken. Oh God, you know. And so as they give today, God, give back to them, we pray. In the matchless name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Glory to your name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on up. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on up and um, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able. Oh, I will sing of the goodness of God. Running after, it's running. 
All my life, he's been so good. And so with every breath that I'm able, I'm going to sing of the goodness of God. Thank you, Lord. God, can we give our good God a good high cup of praise? Amen. He's so worthy this morning. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. I'm here to do the welcome and the introduction of speaker. And we're just so delighted to have have, have uh, some guests worshiping with us this morning. We're so delighted to have back Sister Ramona and her little ones. Could you just wave, Sister Ramona? Can you wave, little ones? So delighted to have you back with us again, Sister Ramona. Thank you for worshiping with us. God bless you. Hope to see you again. Amen. Amen. Brother Horatio Howden, give him a hand. All the way from Jamaica. Amen. Can we give our, our, our worship friends a little a better hand than that? Amen. They could be worshiping anywhere, but they are here worshiping with us. And we're, we don't take that for granted. Amen. We don't take that for granted. And we are just so delighted to see Pastor Martin. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Just know that we miss you when we don't see you. So, so good to see you this morning. Amen. 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 Let's give Pastor Martin a hand. A hand. Do we have any other visitors worshiping with us today? I don't want to miss any of you. Amen. And can we welcome our social media? Can we give them a hand? They can be anywhere in the world at the click of a button, but they're here. They're worshiping with us online. Amen. Amen. And now give yourselves a hand. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Aren't we grateful for the cross today? Aren't we grateful for that fountain filled with blood drawn from Emmanuel's veins? And sin is plunged beneath that float and removes all our guilty stains. Aren't we grateful for the cross? Aren't we grateful for the blood? Aren't we grateful for salvation? Aren't we grateful for redemption? Aren't we grateful that he reconciled us back to him? Hallelujah, what a worthy God, amen. Christ thought it not robbery to leave his throne and become man and um, lay on the cross and take our sins, amen? Amen, and go down in the hell and conquer sin, death, hell, and the grave so that we can have victory. Isn't that something to celebrate today? Hallelujah, because of the finished work of the cross, we can walk in victory. We can walk in power. We can walk in authority. Hallelujah, we have a conquering God. He's a lion of the tribe of Judah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of Jesus. And so we have that authority today. We have that power. We have the victory. No need to hold your head down. Christ has already overcame. And because he overcame, we can overcome too. Amen. Amen. I'm just so grateful for the Lord today. I'm so grateful for the cross. I'm so grateful for his blood that washes me white as snow. Amen. Though my sins were crimson, he made it white as snow. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we give God another hand clap? Hallelujah, bless the name of Jesus. I'm just so happy about that today. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraged. I'm encouraging myself. Amen. Amen. So grateful for the Lord. And I'm also here to do the introduction of speaker. It's none other than our own Pastor Andrew Edwards. Amen. 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 Welcome, Minister Chris. All of the musicians can be here. God bless you. And Pastor Andrew, he's coming with the rhema word today. Amen. Amen. We need the word of God to carry us through the day, to carry us through the week, to carry us through this month. Amen. The word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. It gives us direction. It gives us instructions. And so I pray that we just set our cups out today and receive something from the Lord. Amen. 
You may not get everything, but get something. Get something. You may not hear everything, but grab a nugget. And God will build you up and encourage you in the word. The word is already anointed, amen? And it's already powerful. So get something out of the word today. And as he comes, pray for him. Preach for him. Get something out of the word today, amen? So and as he comes, you have turn your feet and honor the God. Amen. But before he comes, let's welcome back our praise team doing a wonderful job. God bless you. Praise him. Jesus, he has set us free, so we are no longer in bondage. Amen? Amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise his holy name.
the Edwards and the Roses and in the world. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He came in Soon to come, King. Amen. Again, we don't see Pastor Wet. 
you know, the volume is not here, you can hear the difference. But uh, we just want him to so solicit uh, the prayers in that regard and says he's taking care of the family matters. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. So we just send greetings on his behalf to you, the saints. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Brother Horatio Howden. Hey, praise God. Uh, Howden in the house. We just salute him and my dear sister. And didn't catch her name, but I think Sister Ramona. Amen. And her family. We bless your family. Amen. Welcome back in the house. Are you related to? Are you just here by yourself? Clark? Tashana. Okay, wonderful. Sister Tashana, welcome on her in the house of the Lord and our children. Amen. Praise God. So it looks like we have another one on the way. Is that it? <laughs> Praise God. Congratulations. Amen. In the house. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Thank God for um, our faithful minister, Minister Clifton. Amen. Give him a hand. Amen. So faithful, yeah. Faithful throughout the years, amen. amen, and he's in his place. And all of you wonderful saints, so faithful in your respective places over the years of serving this great ministry, uh, Word of Faith and Praise Ministries in the South Florida area, amen. Um, thank God for Deacon Carl uh, working so hard. He finds his passion <laughs> in the sound. Give him a hand, amen. Praise God, and we work to get the system together. And Sister Naomi and Sister Amani, praise God. Praise God, and the leader ministry, in the name of my wife, amen. God bless you all in the name of Jesus, amen. Praise God, let's not tarry too long as we have looking towards communion Sunday. We just want to also welcome the social media platform as well um, those who are on the social media platform facebook uh, plat platform we greet you in the matchless name of jesus uh, praise god i see your sister denise in the back <laughs> is it denise hallelujah praise god we welcome her as well um, lift her up for the on a Monday night yes. for prayer and in that regard we're getting ready for our 25 year celebration of church anniversary uh, for the rest of the week we'll be uh, meeting on the prayer lines on Monday night uh, actually this Monday we'll be having a board meeting then Wednesday and the following Monday and Wednesday night we'll be on the prayer line as we gear ourselves and we're in our 21 uh, day of prayer and fasting and consecration as we look and prepare ourselves for that time. Still working on the mic. Amen. Praise God. Turn your Bibles to Psalms 92. That was read earlier. And we just believe God. Uh, it's a message that I preached years ago and I believe I'm going to repeat the same message today uh, this uh, the same repetition is one of the communication language so that we can get things in our mind the most of all in our spirit man so that we can have these things in our spirit man to be encouraged by the word of God that's the name of the Lord. Still working on the mic and still not uh, satisfied with what's going on, but let's see how far we can do. Psalms 92. Uh, I won't have you stand again because you read it earlier. But um, the topic of that I want to go with is we are from verse 12 downward that uh, surrounds the topic that says uh, the 
text says, the righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. He shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. And I got a theme from that, and I stole the first part of it from someone. Um, this is where thriving, not surviving, part A, and we are flourishing, not perishing. Right? We are thriving. Someone said we are thriving, we are thriving. not just surviving. We are flourishing, not just, we're not going to perish, amen? amen? Not perishing. Father God, we thank you for your word. We thank you for your people. Even as we gather around your word, we pray, Holy Spirit, to continue to breathe upon the word and bring illumination to our mind, to our spirit, man. We thank you for the inspiration that comes from the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. As we breathe upon the word of God, as we dive into your word and to learn and to be established in our lives, in our faith, walk before God. We pray, Holy Ghost, that you will continue to consecrate your servant. The blood of Jesus, we plead the blood over the atmosphere. We take a charge, a rest over this atmosphere. Satan, you are defeated. And you have no room, no place, no jurisdiction here in this room, in this house. We just plead the blood against you. We pray that preaching will be easy. And we pray that your people will be enriched and encouraged to go and make another mile in you and your faith. We thank you. In Jesus' name I pray. Someone say, Amen. Amen. Praise God. We are thriving, not just surviving. Um, uh, when I was a younger youth, <laughs> um, growing up in Jamaica, uh, walking the Norwood streets, Glendavon, Montego Bay, one of the roughest era in Montego Bay, when I was with my grandmother, if I was to come to this country, uh, there will be a lot of sound system around the, the area. Jamaica is known for big sound. There's a lot of big sound playing all over the place. And one of the artists, when I'm going to school, I used to hear, he's now a pastor, and now a gospel artist. Uh, Papa saw, he was singing this song, I will survive, I will survive. As long as I know how to live, I know I'll stay alive. I will survive. Um, he was out in the world. Song has some truth to it. But for us as believers, we are not just surviving. We are thriving. Amen. We are thriving, we are prospering, we are growing, we are going from one level to the other. Amen? Praise God. We are thriving, and we are not just barely getting by, hallelujah, as believers. We are, our eyes are upon the master, and he is our source of strength. He's our source of provision. He's our source. Hallelujah. Uh, and our help. Amen. Amen. The psalmist David says in Psalms 121, one of my favorite Psalms, that says, I will lift up mine eyes above my situation. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord that made the heavens and the earth. He is the Lord. He is the creator. 
He is uh, El Shaddai, the God Almighty. He is Jehovah Jireh, the God who is our provider. Amen. And he is more than enough. Somebody said he's more than enough. More than I hear a people say he's more than enough. He's too much. He's overflow. Amen. And he promised to give us double for our trouble. Somebody give God praise if you believe in that God. That he is an all-sufficient God. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are thriving, not just surviving. Hallelujah. We will uh, flourish and we will not perish. Amen. The text is in front of us. It begins by saying, uh, giving thanks. And we are in uh, the Thanksgiving month on this country. Amen. As we are about to give thanks, we're looking back up the whole year of what we have been through. Amen. And we are still here. Amen. And we are going to give God thanks. Somebody say, I'm going to give God thanks. Thank him for life. Thank him for strength. Thank him for health. My God. Uh, a very expensive commodity these days. Our health. Amen. We have to give God thanks for our health and strength. We used to say, and daily food. <laughs> we praise thy name, O Lord. Amen. Amen. We give God thanks, amen, for clothes on our backs, a place to live, a car to drive. Hallelujah. For some of us, money in the bank, <laughs> reserve, amen, a place to uh, have a job, amen. We have our jobs, amen. God has been good to us, amen. So we have to give God thanks. The psalmist says, it is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord, who is our source. He is Adonai, the Lord, our ruler, hallelujah. And to sing praises like we just did, amen, in the courts of the Lord, unto his name. Hallelujah. Oh, most high. He is most high above all gods. Amen. He's uh, most high above. Uh, uh, what are some of these gods out there now? Baal God. I mean, he's above. Selassie God. He's above. He's most high. Hallelujah. Oh, over all these gods that we have in these world, in this world today. He is above all gods, hallelujah. He is most high. He rules supreme on high. Somebody say he rules supreme. He's above the supreme courts, amen, of the United States. He's above, he rules as Adonai, supremely above, amen. Somebody say he's most high. He's a most high God. Hallelujah. To show forth thy loving kindness in the morning. When I wake up in the morning, hallelujah, I will show forth his goodness towards me. Morning by morning, what? New mercies I see. Great is thy what? Faithfulness unto me. Hallelujah. So when I get up in the morning, I will bless the Lord. Hallelujah. For his goodness. For keeping me in my right mind. I'm up in my right mind. I have my limbs. I have everything uh, attached to me. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm going to wake up and I'm going to bless his name in the morning when I wake up. Hallelujah. I'm going to give him thanks for his goodness. Hallelujah. Because he's a great God. Great is our God and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of his holiness. He is what? Beautiful for every situation, the psalmist says. Amen. He's the joy of the old, the old earth, amen. His Mount Zion is at the side of the north. The city may haven't seen the side of the north in the galaxies as yet. Amen. The scientists are searching. They are looking for other galaxies. His city is situated in the sides of the north. Amen. Hallelujah. He is the joy of the old earth. Somebody give him praise if you believe in that kind of a God. Hallelujah. Great is our God and greatly to be praised. He's most high. Hallelujah. 
That's the kind of God we serve. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, in the morning when I rise, and thy faithfulness every night, the song says, I am blessed. I am blessed. When I wake up in the morning, I am blessed. When I lay my head at night, I'm blessed. Every day of my life, I am what? I am blessed. I am blessed. I'm blessed. Hallelujah. Are you blessed this day? Do you consider yourself blessed? Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Man, you may not have a million dollars sitting in the bank, but that does not constitute your blessing. Amen. It's not in the possessions that you have, but hallelujah, because of who you know and who you serve, the relationship of who you're with, you have with you the Lord and Savior. His name is Jesus. Amen. His name is what? Jesus, he is Jehovah Jireh. Jesus, he is El, El Shaddai. Jesus, he is Elohim. He is the most high God. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> My Lord. <laughs> Jesus Christ, the Christus. He's the Christ. He's the Messiah that the Jews are still looking for. Amen. Praise God. He is a Messiah. Peter says, uh, Thou art the son of the living God. I was in Office Depot getting a new phone and this uh, uh, this uh, uh, Muslim guy started to uh, I said to someone else, do you know that I'm the Lord Jesus Christ? And he was upset that I, that I did not ask him if he knows Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> so we started having a conversation. Amen. And so the difference is that we believe the Muslim world and the Quran and the Bible and having some differences. It's time to talk about those differences to know who is the Lord, the Most High. Amen. He's telling me that Jesus didn't have a family. God did not have a family. My God. Amen. Some things that they believe. Amen. They just believe that he is one of the prophets. He's just one of the great prophets. But we know him as Lord and Savior. We know him as the Lord Most High. Amen. He is the great God. Amen. Hallelujah. So we have a relationship with the Lord Most High. Amen. In the morning when we wake up, we'll show forth his faithfulness towards us. Ah, we in the night when we go to bed, we'll show forth his faithfulness, his loving kindness when we get up in the morning. We praise him. And when we go back to sleep, we praise him. Amen. Morning and noon and night. The psalmist says in Psalms 55, yeah, I will call upon the name of the Lord evening and morning and noon will I seek thee. Amen. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. I have a relationship with that God. Hallelujah. Upon an instrument of ten strings. Hallelujah. The psalmist says let everything that have breath do what? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 150. God, David was a king, and not only a king, but he was a worshiper. Praise God. He started out in the fields of, of his father, Jesse. Amen. Serving his father. Uh, and a shepherd boy. Having a relationship with the God of heaven. Uh, he was known to play the harp. Ten strings, hallelujah. He was acquainted with the instruments. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As a matter of fact, they went out and searched for such a one. Because the Bible says an evil spirit had came upon Saul. Amen. And in order for him to be at peace with himself at night, he needs someone who is anointed with strings, instrument. Yes. Praise God to play the harp. Praise God to settle his, his mind. And they searched for David. 
David was a man who was acquainted with the instruments. That's why we sing and praise and express our praises through the keyboards, through the cymbals, the drums, through your voices. You sing a song unto the name of the Lord. You sing and praise the name of the Lord. Is that right? Amen. The psalmist says, praise ye the Lord. Psalms 150, praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Reason why we have to give him praise. Hallelujah. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Hallelujah. Isn't he a great God? Hallelujah. Isn't he great in your life? You must have a reason to give him praise. Hallelujah. Because he's an awesome God. Amen. Not because of what he can do for you. He's not Santa Claus. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. But because of who he is. The nature of God. The character of God. He's an excellent God. He's an awesome God. He's a great God. Hallelujah. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the psaltery and the harp. Hallelujah. Praise him with the timbrel and dance. Every string instrument, every instrument, your voices are instruments. Amen. Your hands are instruments to give God praise. I, I clap my hands with, I clap my hands. I, I'm trying to remember a song. Uh, praise the Lord. Clap my hands. I praise the Lord. I tell my feet to what? Praise the Lord. I tell my body. I command my, my body to praise the Lord. You're an instrument. You were created to worship God. Hallelujah. Your temple is the temple of the Holy Ghost, the God that lives within you. And you express your praise through your body, your temple. Your hands, your mouth, everything that have what? Yes. If you're breathing, hallelujah, you can what? Praise, Praise the Lord. Lord. Hallelujah. So the psalmist David said he expressed psalms uh, with instruments. Hallelujah. Of ten strings and upon the psaltery with an instrument, upon the harp with a solemn sound. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. For thou, Lord, has made me glad. Hallelujah. Hasn't he made you glad? Yeah. Amen. He's expressing. He's having a relationship with his God. And that's what God wants to have with you today. That's what he wants to have with us today. Amen. He wants to commune with us. Because he lives within us. Amen. So we have to express, oh Lord, the praises that's due unto him. Praise is an expression of elevating the king of glory. Amen. Oh. Hallelujah. You wake up and you, hallelujah, turn your, your head on your pillow next to your beautiful spouses. Amen. Amen. Man and a woman, that is. Amen. And praise the name of the Lord. I might just plug that in. Amen. <laughs> well, I don't know where this nation is going. They are so insistent of going in that direction. But we know as believers, amen, man and woman, you turn your head and wait for your loved one in the bed. For the single one, single person who doesn't have a loved one, you have an intimate relationship with your Savior. You know who you are and whose you are. Hallelujah. You have a communion with God. Hallelujah. He walks with me. He talks with me. Hallelujah. You have fellowship with God. Expressing your praise to God. Because you have a love affair with God. My God. My wife uh, kind of banned me from listening to secular love music. <laughs> but we like Tony Braxton. Amen. And Baby Face. <laughs> but you have a, a Luther Van Joss. You have a love relationship going up. Amen. And boys to men. <laughs> when the fire gets hot in the bedroom, amen, you have to flame it up, amen, passion, amen, hallelujah. <laughs> That's why we are here today as a result of that passion, because of that result of that relationship, 
that we have, man and a woman. Praise God, a love affair. Amen. And so God wants to make it spiritual. He wants you to have a spiritual love affair with her. Ah, that's why uh, we find the book of Song of Solomon. He depicts a man and a woman having a love affair. Praise God. He wants to express the love affair with us. Amen. With the church. Amen. Hallelujah. He died for the church. Jesus the Christ. He died for you and I. So that we can come into an intimate relationship with God. Amen. So we can enter into a relationship with the God most high. Somebody give him praise. Amen. Are you into that relationship with that God? Amen. So the psalmist David says, Oh Lord, thou art great. You are. How great are thy works. And thy thoughts are very deep. Ah, this Jeremiah says, For you know the thoughts that you think towards me. He's thinking about you. He's thinking of what you're going to eat next, where you're going to go next. Uh, he's walking in front of you. He's behind you. He's next to you. Everywhere you go, he's with you. The psalmist David says, though I lay my head in hell, he's there with me. Wherever you go, he's with you. You might want some more mic, man. I'm going to turn it down. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. He's having an intimate relationship. Into me, you see, into Messi. Hallelujah. Intimate relationship with his God. And thy thoughts are very deep. He's thinking about us. Amen. Hallelujah. You are thinking about me. Deep thoughts about me. For the Lord know the thoughts that he thinks towards you. Jeremiah 29, 11. I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. God is not against us. Amen. He is for you. God is for you. Somebody look to your neighbor and say, God is for me. God is for me. The thoughts that he has are, is for you. It's of good. It's of peace and not of evil. He's not against you. He wants to come in intimate relationship with you. Amen. Hallelujah. He says, a brutish man knoweth this not. Neither does a fool understand this. They don't know this. The natural man doesn't understand the things, the relationship with the spiritual world. Amen. Hallelujah. He does not have an understanding of this relationship. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, it is that they shall be destroyed. The purpose, hallelujah, of the wicked. I wanted to talk about uh, the righteous versus the wicked. My Lord. The righteous versus the wicked. Look at verse 7. Uh, when the wicked spring forth, and one of my points I have here is the fate of the wicked. The F-A-T-E, fate of the wicked, or the end of the wicked. Here it is in verse 7. When the wicked spring as the grass, and when all the workers of iniquity do flourish, look at what's going to happen to them. It is that they shall be destroyed forever. Amen. That's the fate of the wicked. Amen. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Psalms 37, it says, fret not thyself because of evil doers, because they shall be soon cut off. Amen. That's the fate of the wicked. Hallelujah. But he encourages us, amen, as the righteous, amen, in that same text, praise the name of the Lord, he did something here. He says, but you trust in the Lord, number one. Hallelujah. And do good. So shalt thou dwell in the land. That's the faith of the righteous. The faith of the righteous is to trust. The word faith means to trust, right? Yes. The faith now, the F-A-I-T-H of the righteous. The faith of the righteous, I'm playing on words, pun, play on words, 
trust in the Lord, Psalms 33, 37, 3, and do good. So shall thou what? Dwell in the land, and verily, surely, truly, thou shalt be fed. Amen. He went on and said, delight yourself. Amen. Also in the Lord. Right? And he shall give thee the desires of your heart. Commit your way. Trust, delight, commit your way unto the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring your desires to pass that he gives you. Hallelujah. Now he went on and says, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the light and thy judgment as the noonday. Ah, he went on and says, rest in the Lord. Someone say, rest in the Lord. When the wicked are surround you, wants to do evil, amen, and your duty, your position in God, in Christ, is to rest, amen. Be still and know that I am God. Hallelujah. I shall be exalted above the heathen, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Psalms 46. For the Lord is our refuge. He is our strength. He is our present help in the time of trouble. When trouble are surrounding you all over, you need just to take the position of rest. Someone say, I'm going to rest in the Lord. Not only resting in the Lord, you're going to wait patiently for him. Hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. Psalm says in Psalms 27, wait on the Lord. Again, I say, wait, be of good courage, and he will do what? Strengthen. Someone say, he's going to do what? Strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Hallelujah. Fret not. Don't worry. Don't fret. Hallelujah. God is not through with you yet. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of a man who brings wicked devices. Yeah, we, we talked about it last week. Yeah, yeah. The enemy, who is the enemy? The devil. the devil himself is the enemy. Yeah? Uh, he use, he has, uh, when God wants to bless us, he uses uh, men. When the devil wants to curse us, he uses men. He has his imps, and he has those, the wicked, amen. He has people who are trying to bring out devices. We talk about princes in their palaces. We talk about rulers of darkness. We talk about these uh, different ranking. Hallelujah. He has the wicked in trying to bring out evil devices against you. But all you have to do is rest in the Lord, wait patiently for him, and he will bring, hallelujah, your prosperity to pass. He will prosper you. He will prosper you in your way, the text says. Because of the man who bring, don't fret against them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He went down and says, cease from hunger. That's something that I need. Hallelujah. To be patient with. Amen. Cease. Stop from anger. Hallelujah. And forsake wrath. Right? Hallelujah. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. Amen. Just wait upon the Lord. Position yourself. Amen. Hallelujah. And he will bring your prosperity to pass. He will prosper you. Somebody give God praise if I'm preaching right. Hallelujah. Amen. In this house, bless the name of the Lord. I know we have to take communion. Praise the name of the Lord. Psalms 92. Is a text, amen, doing text by text here, amen, textual message, praise the name of the Lord, right? So the, that's the faith of the wicked, and the faith of the righteous is to trust in the Lord, commit thy ways to the Lord, uh, rest in the Lord, delight thyself in the Lord, hallelujah. And here he continues to say in his relationship, hallelujah, but thou, Lord, art most high forevermore. Forever thou art most high. Forever you rule. Forever you are supreme. 
forever you are king. No one is going to vote you out like we're going to vote this weekend. Amen. Nobody's not going to vote him out of his position. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Forever he reigns. He reigns supreme. Hallelujah. No one put him in his place. No one put him in his office. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. In the beginning, he was. Praise God. He is. And he is to come. He is the I am that I am. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He's God most high. Somebody says he's God most high. He's God most high. Hallelujah. Ah, uh, these uh, uh, judges are looking for position. Uh, senators are looking for position. Governors are looking for position. But God doesn't look for a position. Hallelujah. He's already in his position. Amen. He's the one who created us. In him we live. In him we move. In him we have. Our being, we exist. Hallelujah. We, hallelujah. We move. We exist. Hallelujah. We live. We operate. We are positioned to succeed. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. But thou, Lord, our most high forevermore. For lo, thine enemies, O oh Lord, for lo, thine enemies shall perish. And not a faith of the wicked. The enemies of God shall perish. You are thriving, not surviving. You will flourish and not perish. Because you are the righteous in the earth. Somebody say, I'm the righteous in the earth. I'm the righteous seed in the earth. Somebody say, I'm the righteous seed in the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The workers of iniquity shall be scattered. The Lord shall sit in the heavens and laugh at their derision. Psalms chapter 2. Praise the name of the Lord because he's in his position. Hallelujah. No one is going to vote him out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. He is Alpha. Jesus says, I am Alpha and Omega. I am the first and I'm the last. I am the A and the Z. Greek Alpha, Greek Omega. Hallelujah. I'm the A and the Z. I'm the first and the last. Hallelujah. I am the Amen. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Yeah, the enemies of God shall perish. They shall scatter. Praise the name of the Lord. You shall look for them and they're no, no longer in their place when you position yourself to wait on God. Bless the name of the Lord. Here he says here, but my horn, the horn that suggests the authority of God, hallelujah, the horn that, that Samuel used, go down to Jesse's house because I have... Uh, made a king there. Praise the name of the Lord. I set aside a king, David. Hallelujah. Anointed with the horn. Fill thy horn with oil. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And anoint David. Hallelujah. Hey, uh, seven sons came and he anointed uh, that. Though that the oil did not flow. But the eighth son, the child of eight, David himself. Hallelujah. The God of Israel. Hallelujah. Ah, Jesus, who comes through the line of David. Praise God. The anointed one. Hallelujah. He says, anoint David. The Bible says, as he anointed David from that very day, the presence of God was with him. Hallelujah. Sustaining him, keeping him, preserving him, sheltering him, protecting him. Hallelujah. Flourishing him. Here, oh God, here it is. But my horn shall thou exalt like the horn of a unicorn, the wild ox. Isaiah 10, 27. Hallelujah. In that day, though, the yoke shall be destroyed. The burden shall be removed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody said the anointing. The anointing. He anoints my head with oil. My cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me when all the days of my life and I will what? Dwell in the house of the Lord. I shall be anointed with fresh oil. Hallelujah. 
love relationship he has. He knows the position that he has, the anointing that breaks off the yoke off of his life, breaks off depression, breaks off oppression, breaks off the depression, breaks off suppression, breaks off even when the enemy is trying to possess you. Hallelujah. The anointing upon your life. Hallelujah. We break the yoke. Hallelujah. Break the yoke. The anointing will break the yoke. Somebody say, I need a breakthrough. Hallelujah. I need a sudden burst of the anointing, the oil that flows over my head. Hallelujah. Flows into my life. When the enemy comes in like a flood, yeah, he shall what? Raise up a standard against the enemy. No weapon that is formed against you and I shall prosper because of the anointing. Somebody give God praise. Somebody say, I'm anointed with fresh oil. Hallelujah. I will thrive and uh, uh, not survive. Hallelujah. I'm going there. I'm closing up. Hallelujah. I'm going to thrive. The anointing comes upon my life. But I also shall see my desire upon my enemies. And my heirs shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise against me. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Because of the anointed. Because you are anointing. Because you are anointed. The anointing will protect you. Hallelujah. He that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow. Hallelujah. The anointing. Hallelujah. The shadow in his presence. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise in this house. I'm getting ready to preach this gospel. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He shadows you. He protects you. Though I walk in the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup running over. Surely, somebody says, surely. Surely. Somebody says, surely. Somebody says, surely. Somebody says, certainly. Somebody says, it's guaranteed. Certainly. Goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Hallelujah. When I wake up in the morning, when I go to bed at night, surely, somebody says, surely. Surely. Hallelujah, surely, goodness and mercy. It's running me down, hallelujah. I cannot escape the presence of God. Hallelujah, everywhere I go, he's surrounding me. He's above me, he's beneath me, he's all around me, hallelujah. The anointing surrounds me, it protects me, it keeps me, it preserves me, it provides for me. Somebody give God praise. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. I will thrive and not survive. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I will flourish and not perish. Somebody give God praise. If you're thriving in this season, I will thrive. I'm not just surviving here. Praise the name of the Lord because I belong to the King of glory. I belong to the King of most high God. Hallelujah, I belong to him. Hallelujah. The righteous shall flourish. There it is right in front of you. Hallelujah. I shall flourish. Somebody say, I shall flourish. I shall thrive. I shall prosper. I shall increase. Hallelujah, I shall have more than enough. I shall have too much. I shall have double to my trouble. Hallelujah, I'm blessed going out. I'm blessed coming in. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I shall lend and not borrow. Hallelujah. 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 He will open up his storehouse towards me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just thank you. Isaiah 45. He anointed Cyrus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I anointed him for wealth. Praise God. He will anoint you. The same anointing is upon you. Hallelujah. The anointing is a fragrance of God that attracts the favor of God. Somebody say, I'm favored. 
I'm blessed. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm too blessed to be stressed, too anointed to be disappointed. Hallelujah, second chance. Praise God. Hallelujah, I'm too blessed to be stressed, to be anointed, I'm too anointed to be disappointed. Hallelujah. I shall flourish. Tell me, say, I shall flourish. The righteous shall flourish. Hallelujah. Like the palm tree. You see the palm tree that's spread out. They live in a palm city. Palm Beach. Amen. You see the palms high and lifted up. Hallelujah. And prospering. Hallelujah. They go down deep. Hallelujah. And they, they stretch up high. Hallelujah. Like the cedars of Lebanon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Like the cedars of Lebanon. I was looking it up and Solomon. Hallelujah. Uses. Hallelujah. The resources that his father David gathered, hallelujah, Solomon wanted to, David wanted to build a house, hallelujah, but God says, your hands is too bloody, you're a man of war, praise the name of the Lord, I have set in place your son Solomon to build, and I'm giving him wisdom, you gather the resources, hallelujah, to build the temple, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, and he got the cedars from Lebanon, Hallelujah, wood, hallelujah, strong, solid wood, amen, and the wealth of the earth to build the house of God. Somebody give God praise. So we will flourish. Somebody say, I'm going to flourish. Not only flourish, you will grow. Somebody say, I will grow like the cedar in Lebanon. Hallelujah. Those that are planted, are you planted? Are you rooted? Are you grounded? Hallelujah, in the house of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Are you saved and you know that you're saved? Praise the name of the Lord. Is your root going down deep with God? Amen. Those are whose roots are like the palm tree that goes down deep. Uh, used to swim in the river. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Swinging off the tree. Swinging off of the tree and then jump in the water. Hallelujah. Because a tree, the Bible says, uh, shall be like a tree that is what? Planted, Planted by the rivers of the water. Hallelujah. The roots go down deep. Hallelujah. And find a source. Hallelujah. For it can grow. Hallelujah. So, so it is. We are like that root. We are like that tree. That's how you are planted in the house. Your root goes down deep. Hallelujah. Deep in God. You cannot be uprooted. I shall not be moved. Somebody say, I shall not be moved. I shall be like a tree. Just like a tree that is planted by the waters. I shall not be moved. Why? Because my root goes down deep. Hallelujah in God. Those that are planted in the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall flourish. Somebody say, I'm going to flourish. Hallelujah. Ah, my roots go down deep. I'm planted. I can't. Planted, man. I'm all right, that's <laughs> Talk about agriculture. Yeah. To plant up some of the kaloo, man. Plant up some of the tomato. Plant it up, man. Hallelujah. Plant up some of those. Dashin, you put the dashin in there and some yam and some coke. Hallelujah, you put it in the ground. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, you plant it in the ground. Hallelujah, you go down deep so you can get the nutrients so that it can grow. Hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. You're deep, you're grounded. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm deep. I'm grounded. I'm planted. In the house of the Lord, he that dwell, Yeshab, he that dwell in the house of the Lord. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you shall have what you will. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It shall be done unto you because you're planted. Somebody said planted. Hallelujah. Jesus used the connotation there of a, of a wine dresser. Amen. In John. Hallelujah. In John 15 or 14? John 15. He says, I am the true vine. 
And my father is the husband man. Hallelujah. You are the branches. Hallelujah. I'm the vine. Yeah. Hallelujah. The source. Jesus says, I'm the source. You get your nutrients from me. Yes, Hallelujah. You get your life, your livelihood from me. Yes. Amen. I'm your source. Amen. If you abide in me, if you dwell in me, yes. you will flourish. Somebody say, I will flourish. Yes. Hallelujah. If you are planted, if you are grounded, Hallelujah. In the word, in the house, the house of bread, Bethlehem, yes. Jerusalem. Yes. Hallelujah. Bethlehem, the house of bread. If you're planted in the house, stay in the house. You will be flourish in the house. When you are grounded in the house, you will flourish in the house. Amen. The word of God comes through this house. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. How can you get faith? Without a preacher that is speaking in this house. Hallelujah. Somebody give God praise. Hallelujah. Faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. Hallelujah. Bless God. They shall still bring forth fruit. Hallelujah. All the ages of your life. Ah, I've been young. Hallelujah. The psalmist says. But now I'm old. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging bread. Hey, from your little boy till now. Hey, never have I seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed begging for bread. Hallelujah. All my life, thou has been what? All my life, you have been so, so good. Hallelujah. He's a good God. He's a good God, Pastor Martin. He's a good God. The devil is a bad devil. Hallelujah. He's a good, good God. He's always faithful. Always watching over you. Always supplying for you. Always protecting you. Always preserving you. Always keeping you. You shall flourish in the courts of our God. They shall still bring forth fruit. In all age, all the ages of my life, time has passed. Ah, from a child, I've known the Holy Scriptures, which is able to make me wise unto salvation. Hallelujah. All my life. Hallelujah. This word shall not depart out of your mouth, Joshua. Hallelujah. But you shall meditate upon that day and night. So that you shall find good success. Hallelujah. Shall you prosper. Good success. I'm going to say good success. I am flourishing and I'm not perishing. Praise God. They shall bring forth fruit in old age. They shall be fat and flourishing. So I'm going to say I am thriving. Not surviving. I am flourishing. Not perishing. Hallelujah. Stand up in the feet and give God some praise if you believe it today. Hallelujah. I will thrive in this season. Hallelujah. Because, uh, hallelujah, I've had intimate relationship with the Lord um, Most High. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm covered. He got me covered. I am covered. Somebody say, I'm covered. I'm covered. He got me covered. I'm covered. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. He covers me. He shelters me. He covers me. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For thou hast been a shelter for me, a strong tower from the enemy. Hallelujah. He's got you covered. He's got me covered. Hallelujah. I'm covered. Somebody say, I'm covered. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. What Obamacare cannot do, you are covered. Amen. What Obamacare cannot do for you, he's got you covered. Amen. More than whole life insurance. More than term life insurance. Amen. He got you covered. Amen. More than 401. Hey, full coverage. Amen. More than progressive of Geico. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. He got you covered. 
more than you feel like this is just a dead existence. Amen. New life, New York. Amen. Hallelujah. Those establishments. Uh, he's got you covered. Somebody say, he's got me covered. He's got me covered, Sister Harleen. He's got you covered. He's got you covered. Hallelujah. I won't hang my head down because he's got me covered. He's got me covered. He's got me covered. Hallelujah. I'm covered. Hallelujah. I'm surrounded by his favor. I'm surrounded by his love. I'm surrounded by his protection. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why we praise him. That's why we give him thanks. Because he got us covered. He got us covered. He's got me covered. He's got me covered. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Somebody clap your hands and give God praise. Come on. I'm going to need this word when I go home tonight. You're going to need this word when I go through your week this week. You're going to need this word, hallelujah, to encourage yourself that I am flourishing. I'm not perishing. That you will thrive, not just survive. Amen. Amen. Thriving. Well, fat and flourishing. Fat and flourishing. Fat and flourishing. All my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so good. 25 years we have been flourishing. We shall flourish. I shall live and not die. This ministry shall live and not die. 25 years, all our lives, he has been faithful. All our lives, he has been so, so good. Hallelujah. We shall be fat and flourishing. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, we shall be fat and flourishing. Fat and flourishing. Amen. Yeah. It's okay not to lose the weight. It's okay not to lose the weight. Because we shall be fat and flourishing. <laughs> Fatness is flourishing. <laughs> oh, we are fasting. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Consecrate me. Let me just, let's go. Brother Deacon, just bring the, let's do it real quickly. Like the, the Israelites, they were leaving Egypt. Amen. They had to eat with standing up to leave Egypt. Because the death angel is coming to pass over. Right? Amen. So they had to pass over. Amen. We have the com communion. Let's uh, take communion today. I almost sent you home because I'm being sorry for you, but we have to send you ready. Amen. Please let's, let's remember the covenant that we have been placed in because of the death of Jesus Christ. Because of his blood. His blood is on my soul. His blood is on my soul. I rest completely in his his arms, his blood is on my soul. Hallelujah. We don't have any musicians here, but we're going to make music with our voices today. Amen. Hallelujah. Sister Martin, you have some of those songs. Let's keep the, his blood is on my soul. Let's do some. Just sit be seated for a little bit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those who are on the social media wondering why we are so excited, but because his blood is on our soul. Amen. Amen. His blood is on our soul. Amen. Praise God. We're doing communion. If you're at home and you're watching us and you belong to this house, even if you don't belong to this house, amen, and you want to take up uh, some biscuit or some crackers or something or bread or some drinks or whatever to join with us, amen, as we enter communion, amen, together. Amen. Uh, Back in the day, we were going to say, together we walk, together we talk, together we wash one another's feet. But they say we're still social distance now, so we can't wash your feet again right now. <laughs> but we can fellowship around the communion table. Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord.
We can have them. Let's pray over the emblems real quickly. Come, deacon, just come so other deacons come and so we can just serve you. Amen. There's one thing that my father always um, frowned on is not to take this service too right lightly or too rush, rush. He doesn't want us to rush, rush it. Amen. We should take our time. We, we have um, gone backwards. We normally come back in the evening and have it separately. And we have it the Lord's Supper. And we can have all the time we, we, we can to do that that way. But we can have them. Just pray a prayer. Bless the emblems as we just um, solemnly consecrate our hearts before the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you, O oh God, so far for this day, mighty God. We have heard your word, O oh God, and we have digested it. Yes, Lord. And Father, we pray, God, that it act upon our thinking, upon our minds, mighty yeah. God, as we go through this week. Amen. Help us, mighty God, to marinate it into our system, mighty yes. God, knowing that, Father, we thank you for your goodness. We thank you for your mercies towards us. We thank you, O oh God, for your faithfulness. My and, O oh God, as we embark upon this session, mighty God, where we feast around your table, yes, mighty God. God, we pray a blessing over these emblems as we take them, God. Yes. Help us to think seriously as we take them. Yes. Wine yes. and the blood, O oh God, representing yes. your blood yes. and your body, yes. broken on the cross for us. Yes. It wasn't done simple, yes. nor in haste, oh God, it was well planned, yes. and we take it very seriously, yes. Father. Yes. Bless everyone who should take part in our yes. mighty God. Yes. Let us think, oh God, upon what we are doing, yes. knowing, yes. mighty God, whatever we do here, yes. we do it unto you. Yes. We thank you for your goodness, we thank you for your mercy. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We can just um, share the emblems. Yes, God. Yes, God. Come on, sing. Give Jesus all my yes. sin, forgive, mm -hmm. and wash and make me whole. I have sweet peace and joy with Him. His blood. His blood is on my soul. His blood. His blood is on my soul. Oh. 
There's a scripture that I'll be in testing. Talks about um, if we are re- let us examine, examine ourselves, whether we are in the faith, right? You know, I believe it's Second Corinthians thirteen, is it that? Yeah. Correct. Yes, five. It says, "Let's examine ourselves, yourself, whether you be in the faith." Prove your own selves. Know not your own, know ye not your own self. So you, we all should know our Amen. own selves. Amen. 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 Right? How that Jesus Christ is in you. And then he says, except you be reprobate. So there's a question. He says, but I trust that ye shall know that we are not reprobate. We're not heathen. We haven't heard the gospel, and then we turn back on the gospel. Right? That's what a reprobate is. We hear the word. We believe it. So test yourself. Know who you are, whether you're in the faith. Amen? Examine yourselves. Uh, Paul says to the Corinthian church, he's still saying to us today, so let us examine ourselves. Even as we are coming around the Lord's table, he continues to admonish us in the same light before we even eat the Lord's uh, take a part of his body, we take the bread and his blood, which is symbolized with the wine or the juice. Um, he says, let us examine ourselves, verse 28, but let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. So as we take the bread and we take the cup today, Let's examine ourselves. That's back in 1 Corinthians 12, 11. All right? Let's examine ourselves, whether we're in the faith. Amen? Know our hearts. Um, know my heart, I pray. See if there be any wicked ways in me. Cleanse me and lead me into life everlasting. Right? So we know how to examine ourselves before the Lord. So let's examine ourselves today before we take the bread. Ask the Lord to search us. Let him turn the search light on our hearts. Amen. Um, what are we thinking upon? What are we musing upon during the week? What are we musing upon during the when we go home, when we are watching TV, whatever, or whatever we find ourselves doing. Um, as even as Deacon Howden just prayed. Let's know what we are. Be mindful of what we are and what we are doing. Because everyone has to give an account. Amen. Amen. Of the time spent, the things that we think about, the deeds that are done in our bodies, because our bodies are the temple of God. Right? So we are going to be judged accordingly. Right? So let's know ourselves. Amen. As we go throughout this week, Amen. Know ourselves. Meditate upon the word. Morning and evening and night. Let's get back to the rig, the, the rig, ritual. What's the word? Ritual. Not only ritual. Yeah, ritual is good. Ritual. 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 Regiment. 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 <laughs> Regiment. We grew up this way, right? right? We grew up, you know, parents send us to school and they give us certain things to do, right? We um, get up in the morning and prepare ourselves and get ready for the day. So get ready for devotion. Devote yourself. <clears throat> Live a devoted life. A discipline. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's get back to discipline as disciples of Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Right? Let's go get back to the fundamentals, the basic things of Christianity. And is that what we do? That the Lord watches. He watches over what we are thinking. He watching of what we are seeing, right? What we're doing with our hands, what we're doing with our feet, where we go, the places where we go, the things that we ingest, things that we put in our souls. Amen. He let's examine, examine ourselves, right? Whether we are in the faith. All right. Um, the word of God says here, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. 
the Lord Jesus has seen that, is reminding us, in which he was betrayed, he took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Take this door in remembrance of me. And so this is what we practice now, that we would do this in his remembrance, Amen. his sacrifice. Amen. Let's meditate upon it and let's eat together. Amen. Father, we thank you. Amen. That our hearts, our minds, our will and our emotions, we bring it before you. Hallelujah. To search our hearts. Search our minds. Hallelujah. What we think about. Holy Spirit. What we say, what we speak, what we say to one another, our mouths, what come out of our mouths, what what's in our hearts, oh God, as we take your, your body that was sacrificed Hallelujah. on the cross for our sins and remember, oh God, the price that you paid. And so we partake of your body even now. Thank you, Lord. This is not only a ritual, this uh, is a remember. Is we remember the word of God. We remember His sacrifice, Isaiah fifty-three, that He was broken for us, so that we can be healed. His body was broken. All the emotions, emotional healing, psychological healing, that belongs to us, He was broken for us. We can be psychologically healed. He, the crown upon his head, the crown represents our sin, the thorn. Thorn represents sin. And it was placed on his head for our healing of our minds. Hallelujah. He shed his blood so that we can be healed. Isaiah 53. Let me just take my time. Go there. Amen. It says, Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? But he shall grow up, Jesus, before him as a tender plant, as a prophecy about our Savior, as a root out of the dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness, describing his suffering. And when we shall see him, there is no beauty that we should desire him, because he was broken, he was marred. He was disfigured, his face, no beauty. He is despised and rejected of men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with our grief. And we hid, as it were, our faces from him. He was despised, and we esteemed him not, we honored him not. And they have, surely, he says here, he had borne our griefs, our burdens, our sorrows our regrets. He born it on a tree and carried our sorrows, yet we did as he, stricken, smitten of God and afflicted. God was pleased to bruise him. He was a perfect sacrifice for us. Amen. And this is in scripture. As we take his blood that was shed, they whipped him and his flesh was open and the blood poured out. They pierced his side. But he was wounded for our transgressions, for our sins. He was bruised for our iniquities, for our sin habits. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And with his stripes we are healed. Whatever sickness that we have, whatever disease that we carry in our bodies, his blood was shed so that we can be healed. So we have no excuse not to be sick. To be sick, but no excuse to remain sick. Because here it is. It says, with his stripes, we are healed. Peter went further and says, with his stripes, we were healed. So it's the past tense. Yeah, yeah. So now we are walking in healing. Yeah. We're walking in perfect health. Um, whatever inabilities we have, God is able to sustain us. Amen? Hallelujah. 
So with the same manner, praise God, he took the cup right there in the, in the text. I ain't got no black book. It's right there in the Bible here. Can you get it from what? After the same manner, also he took the cup, 1 Corinthians 11, 25. He took the cup when he had supped with his disciples, saying, this cup is the new testament, the new agreement. That's all we can scream and preach and jump and holler and praise. And we have a new agreement. We're coming to fellowship with God now. The old covenant is gone with the children of Israel. Now we as Gentiles, we can come in and enter into this new covenant, right? So there's a new covenant, new covenant, new testament in my blood. It says, this do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. That's that covenant that we have made through the cross. That he died on the cross so that we can enter in. Just like the children of Israel. We, we can have the same rights and privileges that they have, the Jews. We have the same privilege that God established, right? Uh, if you are Christ, uh, if you are Christ, you are Abraham's seed and heirs according to his promise. You are heirs, joint heirs. You will inherit the promises you can flourish. You can be blessed in the city. You can be blessed in the sea, in the field. All of those promises that are in the scriptures belongs to you. All the old covenant promises are fulfilled in what Jesus Christ has done. Amen. So that's why we preach and that's why we holler. And that's why we preach the way we preach. Because we have an experience with him. Amen. So... After the same manner, he took the cup when he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Uh, let us drink together. Amen. The sun sets. And this is it for sin. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing, Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is that blood. That makes me what? Wide as snow. No more guilt. Lord, I found I know. Nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We are guiltless before the Father. Amen. Because of the sacrifice you, that Jesus Lord. paid, the atonement that he paid, is the blood that was shed. Thank you, so there is therefore now no condemnation to no them that are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Amen. There's no condemnation, no guilt. He's not angry with us, being therefore justified by faith. We have what? Peace with God. Amen. And peace. Hallelujah. With God. Our Lord and Savior. Amen. So we walk in peace with God. And then he's not angry with you. He knows. He thinks deep thoughts about you. Uh, he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you. Thoughts of peace. And not of evil to give you an expected end. A hope and a future. So that you will succeed in whatever you do. Good success. Somebody say, I will have good success. I will flourish. And not perish. I will thrive. And not survive. Amen. Somebody give God praise. Amen. Thank God for the blood. Thank him for washing our sins. And the text in Isaiah chapter 1. You can come to the table. Amen. Um, it says, though your sin be as crimson, they shall be what? White, White than snow. snow. Amen. So then he says, in our prayer, Psalms 51, David cried out, 
is prone to you as well. Fist up. That's what the Buddha fist up. Buddha cup purge me with his up. And I shall be clean. Wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. Amen. Our guilt are gone. Amen. It is settled. Jesus said it is finished. It is done. Amen. So we are in the kingdom. Hallelujah. There's no condemnation. There's no more wrath against us. The penalty has been paid. Amen. The price has been already paid. The peace. Amen. Stand on your feet. Thank you for staying with us. Uh, praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Are we still on social media? Thank you for joining us. Social media. For those who are watching, I pray that you okay, bless uh, the service today. Amen. I know I'm blessed. Amen. Amen. I'm blessed. Bless. I'm blessed. Are you blessed? Amen. Tell your name, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. Praise God. Every day of my life, I'm blessed. Amen. I am blessed every day of my life. I am blessed. When I wake up, when I wake up in the morning, and I lay my head to rest, I am blessed. I am blessed. God bless your social media. There are ways to contact us if you need to do so. If and when you need to do so, um, the salvation message is there. If you don't know the Lord Jesus, want to get in touch with us, we're a church. Website is there. Uh, contact information is there. And when you enter into a land of blessing, flourishing, remember us. So a seed in the ministry with many ways and means to do so. Amen. Amen. And for those who are here, when the Lord move you in the place of flourishing, amen. amen. Remember to sow, amen. Sow into the house. You're planted in the house, amen. Sow in the house where you're planted. All right, God bless you. Uh, lift up your hands towards heaven as we are dismissed, amen. Praise God. Uh, now unto Him who is able to keep us from falling. And to present for spotless before the only wise God, be glory and dominion and majesty, both now and forevermore. Let the people of God say, Amen. Amen. God bless you. Uh,